Welcome to the Round Earth Project at the University of Illinois at Chicago. Here in Illinois, the Earth looks pretty flat. And like most young children, young Illinois children believe the Earth is flat. The spherical Earth is a simple example of a deep idea, a fundamental concept that lies underneath our extensive system of domain knowledge and influences how experience and discourse are conceptualized. The acquisition of deep ideas, deep learning, involves a paradox. While the intent is to replace the learner's existing ideas, those existing ideas are the learner's main tool for assimilating the new idea. The typical outcome of trying to replace these ideas with more fundamental ideas is distortion. Because of this, deep learning may require an alternative cognitive starting point, where the new concept can be learned independent of the conflicting prior experience. We are using virtual reality to help generate this alternative starting point. For learning about the sphericality of the Earth, the children can start off on a small asteroid, like this one. Here the children can experience walking around a sphere and coming back to where they started. They can also see objects appear quickly over the horizon. They can stand on the bottom and not fall off. With the cooperation of the principal, staff, and teachers, we brought an immersive desk to a local elementary school to investigate this approach. A pair of children collaborate in this learning activity. They are given a mission to encourage movement on the asteroid. Their mission is to collect enough fuel cells from various places on the surface to allow their stranded spaceship to leave. Neither child can complete the task alone. They must cooperate. One child, acting as an astronaut, explores the surface of the asteroid from the Immersa desk. Another child, acting as mission control, guides the first child from a stereo monitor. This child sees the asteroid as a sphere, with the astronaut and the fuel cells visible on its surface. The astronaut may be visibly upside down to this child, while the astronaut is always right side up at the Immersa desk. The children talk to each other and must integrate their different views of the asteroid to complete their mission. After 10 minutes, the children switch roles to experience the asteroid from the other perspective. Once the children have completed their mission, bridging activities are used to relate this new experience on the asteroid back to their everyday experience on the Earth. This structured dialogue prompts reflection on the virtual reality experience using physical models of the asteroid and the Earth. The children are interviewed before and after the experience. The questions probe their understanding of the shape of the Earth and the implications of that fact, such as the relativity of up and down, occlusion by curvature, and circumnavigation. These questions are asked three ways, verbally, using two-dimensional drawings, and using three-dimensional Play-Doh to minimize representational bias. Our initial studies show significant improvement in the treatment group between the pre-test and the post-test, allowing them to catch up with their classmates who had already acquired the concept. Teleimmersive virtual environments, such as this one, have a great potential for encouraging jigsawed collaboration and enhancing understanding through multiple representations and viewpoints. We are continuing to focus on learning goals that meet three criteria. They must be important, they must be hard, and they must be plausibly enhanced by immersive virtual reality. These environments must be informed by contemporary research in the learning sciences and educational practice and will be built with the close cooperation of teachers.